After that defeat to Everton at the weekend, I was furious. I was absolutely angry with that performance from Manchester United. But there, after losing 2-0 against City, effectively handing City the title, I feel apathetic towards it. It was inevitable. It was coming. It wasn't a surprise and it was expected that Manchester United were going to get beaten tonight by City. And we did. Of course, the only silver lining here is the fact that it might have stopped Liverpool winning the league. But that's hardly any sort of consolation from it for United fans who've just seen their team just get turned over at Old Trafford. Not the first 45 minutes. It was a game where you clearly were going to get a reaction from the United players because they could not have been any worse against Everton. Where there was a zero desire from any player to put in a real shift. Tonight we saw that. Probably for the full 90 minutes, but certainly in that first half. United were pressing, trying to get the ball, and clearly we got into City's heads because they weren't in the game for the first 30 minutes. They got into it for the last 10 of the first half and then just dominated the second half. Cruise control, second gear from them. And it's scary how far behind City United are. I mean, it's we might be in the same league, but we're genuinely not in the same league in terms of the quality of the team. This United squad is trash. Absolutely trash. Roy Keane slammed it in his pre-match uh, comments on Sky Sports. And he's not wrong, is he? This team is just a shambles. You know, seven losses in nine. There's now pressure on Solskjaer. But he can't do anything with this squad as far as I'm concerned. This squad is absolutely rotten to its core. And there are so many players there that shouldn't be here next year. And I really, really, really worry how many transfer windows it's going to take Man United and Solskjaer to make a squad that's capable of challenging with that City team. They had Sane and Jesus on the bench. They were in cruise control, hardly struggling. United have not scored an, a goal from out a goal in open play, sorry, in over 500 minutes of football. We were so poor going forward tonight against City, there was rarely a threat. You know, Rashford was definitely a threat in the middle when he was running through the two centre-backs in company in Laporte, but we didn't have anybody who could really find him with the balls. Pogba, for some reason, didn't seem to have the confidence to find him with passes. Just no player there is playing with any confidence, with any quality, and certainly not David De Gea. He's been a god for Manchester United for the last four years. But what is he doing this season? Mistakes against Barcelona. Mistakes against Everton as far as I'm concerned. Two mistakes tonight there against City. Culpable, I would say, for both of the goals. This contract talk and negotiations clearly has rattled De Gea because he's nowhere near the standards that he himself set over the last few years. But as I said, overall, the, the feeling I'm getting coming out of that game tonight is just apathetic towards it. I'm not angry towards the fact that we just got pumped at home six out of the last eight games against City in the Premier League at Old Trafford. They've won. City fans taking the piss out of United fans, singing we're the pride of Manchester. And United fans don't really have a leg to stand on because we can't say anything at the moment. United are living in their past glories and massively turning into a Liverpool that we all took the piss out of. And it's, it's scary. It really is because I have no idea how United are. It's not as if, for example, you were to sell a couple of players, take Young out, take Darmian out, bring in a couple of defenders and all oh, that solves it. It doesn't. There is problems in every position. There are problems everywhere in this squad. And it's not just a case of cherry picking one or two players out, putting one or two new players in and it's going to solve it. There's a massive attitude problem that goes throughout the whole squad. The structure of the club is an abomination. Recruitment-wise, are we going to get that right? There's so many things that have to go right now for United in the next couple of years for us to catch up to City and Liverpool. And that's not even considering the fact that they're just going to get better and better and better. The levels that they are playing right now are sensational. Toe-to-toe -to -toe going for the title. Neither of them slipping up. But United... We're laughing stock. And somehow we might still be in a top four race because Arsenal are just as bad, losing 3 1 to Wolves. But even if United do beat Chelsea on Sunday, we're behind them on goal difference. I think we've got like 
nine goals behind them on the goal difference. But United may still be able to make the top four. Positives from tonight, we saw a bit of desire in that game from the players, certainly in the first 25 minutes. And we needed a reaction from the Everton game, but because it couldn't have got much worse than that, we're always going to see some sort of reaction. And Solskjaer will praise his players for that. But other than that, I'm seeing very little positive, any positive really, to take from the game tonight. And I just want the season to end. Just end it now. Last few games couldn't come any quicker as far as I'm concerned. This season, with Jose Mourinho, him leaving the positive way that came in with Solskjaer, and then the collapse that we've had in the last six to eight weeks. It really has been a season to forget for United fans. And it would be even worse if Liverpool won the league, but hopefully that now means that City will go on to win the league. But, I mean, when the major positive you can take from the United Premier League season is the fact that Liverpool didn't win it, you know it's been absolutely terrible. But I want to know what you think about that game in the comments below. Let me know if it was your man of the match. Was there a man of the match? How are you feeling about the team? But I'm very worried about what's coming next for United because we have got so much work to do to catch up with City and Liverpool. I don't think you can do it in one season. I question whether you can do it in two. Tough times ahead for United, but let me know what you think in the comments below as always.